Previously we discussed how the Turk tribes from Central Asia reached Anatolia with the help of a great dynasty Seljuks. Today we are going to explore the rise and fall of two of the most fascinating empire that ruled the Middle East, Central Asia, and Anatolia before the Ottomans the Seljuk and Khwarazmian dynasties. These two empires ruled over vast territories in the Middle East and Central Asia, and they were known for their wealth, their cultural achievements, and their military prowess. But even the greatest empire can fall, and that's exactly what happened to the Seljuks and the Khwarazmians. Long ago, in the lands of the Middle East and Anatolia, a mighty dynasty ruled supreme. The Seljuks were fierce and powerful Turkish people, known for their military might and their support for the arts. They conquered vast lands and spread the Islamic faith far and wide. The Seljuks were a Turkish dynasty that ruled over a large empire in the Middle East and Anatolia from the 11th to the 13th century. The Seljuks were known for their military prowess, their support for cultural and artistic pursuits, and their adoption of the Islamic faith. The Seljuks went into decline in the 13th century due to a combination of internal and external factors, including invasions by the Mongols, internal strife, and economic and political instability. The Seljuks were weakened by the loss of key territories, including Baghdad, which was captured by the Mongols in 1258. The Seljuks were unable to effectively respond to the challenges they faced, and their empire began to fragment. The Seljuk sultans who ruled during this period included Alp Aslan, 1063-1072, Malik Shah I, 1072-1092, Muhammad I, 1092-1105, Berkyaruk, 1105-1118, and Sanja, 1118-1157. The last Seljuk Sultan was Rukan al-Din Masud, also known as Masud II, who ruled from 1284 to 1306. He was the son of Ghiyat al-Din Masud, the Seljuk Sultan of Ram, who had reigned from 1243 to 1284. During his reign, Rukan al-Din Masud faced a number of challenges, including invasions by the Mongols, internal strife, and economic and political instability. He was unable to effectively respond to these challenges, and the Seljuk Empire continued to decline. Rukan al-Din Masud was eventually overthrown by the Mongols, who conquered the Seljuk Empire and established their own rule over the region. The Mongols, under the leadership of Genghis Khan and his descendants, had already conquered much of Asia and Europe, and the Seljuk Empire was just one of many states that fell under their control. Now we can turn towards the Khwarazmian dynasty. The Khwarazmian dynasty was a Persian dynasty that ruled over a large empire in Central Asia and the Middle East from the 1077 to 1231. The Khwarazmian empire was founded by Anushtegin Gharchai, who established himself as the ruler of Khwarazm, present-day Uzbekistan, and expanded his control over other parts of Central Asia and the Middle East. The Khwarazmian dynasty was known for its wealth, its sophisticated culture and art, and its achievements in science and technology. The capital of the Khwarazmian Empire, Gurganj, also known as Konye Urgenj, was a major center of trade and commerce and was home to many scholars and intellectuals. The Khwarazmian dynasty was led by a series of powerful rulers, including Anushtegin Gharchai, Tekesh, and Muhammad II. However, the dynasty eventually went into decline due to a combination of internal and external factors, including invasions by the Mongols, internal strife, and economic and political instability. The last ruler of the kingdom of Khwarezm was Jalal ad-Din Mingbanu. The Khwarezmad Empire was a state in Central Asia that existed from the early 12th century to the early 13th century. It was located in parts of Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan. The Khwarezmad Empire was conquered by the Mongols in the early 13th century. The Mongol Empire, led by Genghis Khan, began its expansion into Central Asia in 1219, and it conquered the Khwarezmad Empire in 1220. Jalal ad-Din Mingbanu was defeated in the Battle of Indus and fled westward, but he was captured and killed by the Mongols. The Khwarezmad Empire was then absorbed into the Mongol Empire, and it became a province of the Mongol Empire known as the Ilkhanate. The Khwarazmian dynasty and the Seljuk dynasty were two major powers in the Middle East and Central Asia. However, both dynasties eventually fell due to internal and external challenges. Despite their fall, the legacies of these dynasties continue to shape the region today.